Hi, my name is Alejandro and I'm going to present the paper Hyperdegrade from Gigahertz to Megahertz Effective CPU Frequencies. We will start introducing the flutter reload and performance degradation attacks, as they are core components of this research. Then we present the concept of Hyperdegrade and compare it with different performance degradation strategies. Finally, we estimate the impact of Hyperdegrade as a side-channel side amplifier. Let's begin with a, an informal introduction to the flowchart reload cache attack. The victim executes some memory address green box in the chart that the attacker wants to track. The attacker periodically executes a flowchart reload cycle that is a blue and red boxes in the picture to carry if the target memory address was accessed or not. In practice, the temporal resolution of the attack is limited, hence the waiting period gray area is lower bounded. But what will happen if the victim executes the target, target memory address twice very quickly? In this case, the poor attacker will only record one of them, missing important such an information. Performance degradation attacks slow down victim execution, increasing the chances to track both memory accesses using a flowchart reload attack. Therefore, it increased the temporal resolution of the, the attack. The use of cache eviction to slow down a side-channel victim was proposed six years ago. The idea is based on flushing hot victim cache line periodically, forcing the victim's code to gather them from the slower main memory. This attack, like flushart reload, requires a chain memory environment and a profiling phase where the hot cache, cache lines are identified. The combination of this performance degradation attack and flutter reload have been used in, in several works before. We will start revisiting the original performance degradation attack that was labeled as degrade. For this task, we designed an experiment where we execute about 1 million instructions and collected the average of some CPU metrics using the Linux perf tool. First, we compare the baseline approach no degrade with the original degrade. As expected, we see a considerable increase on the number of cache misses, resulting in about a 12 times more CPU cycles. However, we note that the cache miss number of instruction ratio is far below the unit, so it's very natural to ask, can we do better? And, and yes, hyper-degrade improve this ratio, or send me close to 1 million cache misses. The idea of hyperdegrade is combining the degrade with the SMT feature, hyperthreading on Intel's LAN. In this setup, we collocate the degrading process in the same physical core where the victim is running. During the data analysis, we observe that the number of CPU cycles grows faster than the other metrics. So we suspect that there could be another slowdown reason beyond the cache misses. After some experiments, we identify that matching clears can explain this behavior, specifically, specifically the one produced by a self-modifying code. While we are not modifying the built-in code at the architecture level, a cache line flush can be interpreted as such by the microarchitecture. According to Intel, matching clear cores cause a severe performance penalty. After presenting the hyper degree idea, we are going to compare its slowdown impact with respect to other strategies. For this task, we designed another experiment and compared four performance degradation strategies plus the no degrade. In addition to the first three strategies discussed so far, we included two hyper degrade related approaches for completeness. The contention strategy is based on hyperdegrade, but this time we flush a cache line not executed by the victim. This approach answers a question about this if the S SMT itself would be sufficient to, to cause a significant performance penalty. These figures show the experimental results. At the UI axis, we have the CPU cycles per number of executed instruction ratio in a logarithmic scale. 
while the x-axis spans for the number of instructions. At the bottom of the graph, node grade and the contention approaches overlaps, suggesting that SM uh, SMT contention alone is not sufficient to slow down a bit, a bit considerably. The last degrade strategy in is an standalone self-modifying code. There are different ways of triggering machine clear using SM SMC. In this case, we are using the ISA instead of the catch. The course on the middle of the figure suggests the SMC approach offers the same level of slowdown as the degrade strat strategy. However, this approach doesn't require a chain memory with the victim. At the top of the chart is the hyper degrade results, where it can be seen it exceeds other strategies by several orders of magnitude. Previous experiments were done using homemade harnesses, therefore it would be interesting to see how hyperdegrade behaves on real code. For this task, we launched hyperdegrade against the PIPS benchmark switch. As both degrade and hyperdegrade strategies require a hot cache line, we collected the statistic of the performance degradation for all cache lines used by every benchmark process for different Intel microarchitectures. The table, the table shows some statistics of this large experiment with respect of the baseline, baseline code. It can be seen that IPD grace slowed down sub benchmark by 1000 times. Previously, previously we, have, we have focused on the slowed down impact of IPD grade, so its impact as a SI channel Amplifier fall, follows. We addressed this question twofold. First, we employed a statistical leakage assessment tool, an ICB, to statistically validate that hyperdegrade increases the number of points of interest in a side channel trace. This is shown in the experiment results at this figure, where the hyperdegrade curve has much more samples at high correlation co coefficients. The Y axis. Please refer to the paper for the detail of this experiment. We also estimated the impact of IP degrade as a side channel amplifier using a real side channel leakage. As a target, we selected a leakage at OpenSSL discovered by the Raccoon Attack authors, but not exploited before. The leakage is due to a conditional statement aligned for it, and the attacker is interested in tracking when this branch is taken. At the right of the slide, we see a typical fusion reload trace where the cache line containing the call to the main move function is targeted. In this trace, we detected two cache hits, one observed during the call instruction and another when the this info function returns. This part pattern is an indicate indicator that the branch was taken. We employed a generic leakage exploitation approach that is not optim optimized for any degrade strategy and is configurable to sweep a set of parameter set. The idea of this experiment is to have a common approach for comparing the three degrade strategies, no degrade, degrade, and hyper degrade. For each parameter set combination and degrade strategy, we executed the attack against OpenSSL. The results shown, shown in the table belong to the best parameter set for every degrade strategy. Notice how hyper degrade outperforms the other two, requiring significantly less traces. The cumulative distribution of the results show that there are 88 parameter sets where hyper degrade can be used to exploit this leakage before degrade can succeed. Finally, some con conclusion about our work. Hyperdegrade required an SMT microarchitecture. Hyperdegrade also increased the slowdown factor in comparison with previous approaches. Machine clear are an additional root cause of the original degrade. A self-modifying code approach slowed down like degrade without the memory, the shared memory requirement. 
SMT contention is not enough for causing sin a significant performance penalty. Hyperdegrades reduce the number of traces against a raccoon attack variant. Thank you.